Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Dan and welcome to another Mobile Suit demonstration video. Today is the second most hyped for Gunpla from the pole, the Full Armor Unicorn. Let's begin. The head, body, arms, legs and backpack have full Psycho Frame, which increases response speed by 5%. The body has Intention Automatic System, which increases response speed by 5%. And the backpack has large booster, which increases thruster capacity by 4,500. The full armor unicorn can be bought in HG and MG scale in the shop, once you've gathered enough of the relevant parts in each scale. The Full Armor Unicorn cannot be derived from anything, but you can find it in DLC 6 Mission 7 as a boss enemy. Alright, let's see what the Full Armor Unicorn can do. First off, we've got the Hyper Beam Javelin. This weapon is already in the base game, and it uses the standard Lance type moveset. Then the ranged weapon is the Beam Magnum, it's also in the base game. Can come equipped with all the typical rifle attack styles, but the one I'm using is Fire for R2 and Charge Shot for Hold R2. Alright, now for the optionals. We have the Double Beam Sabers, performs a pretty great string of attacks into a launcher, into an air combo and finally with a slam to the ground. Next is the Beam Tonfa, its attack string is pretty basic when not transformed but when you are, you're wielding both Beam Tonfa and attacking very intensely. Next are the Hand Grenade units on the legs. You launch a bunch of homing missiles attacking multiple enemies. It eats through optional gauge incredibly quickly, even with the 75% increased gauge capacity I'm using, and the damage feels kinda weak. Next is the Hand Grenade Launcher plus Triple Missile Launcher. You fire more homing missiles, again eating a huge chunk of optional gauge, and the damage still feels too weak. Next up are the Hyper Bazooka and Grenade Launcher. You perform a fancy backflip and shoot off both the Bazooka and the Grenade Launcher at the same time. You can use this quite a lot before running out of shots, and the damage, while perhaps a little weaker than the last two, can be used much more often, and chances are you'll be using this the most. Next up are the Beam Gatling Guns slash Shield Funnels. Press and hold circle and you'll fire the Beam Gatlings at the locked on enemies. However, when you are transformed you can press circle to send your free shields to fly around and shoot at locked on targets. Does decent damage and is very useful. Also, while the shields are out, if you hold circle, the free shields will create a powerful beam shield in front of you. This feels less useful because you cannot move and it only seems to block in front of you. The big question is, how does it fare against the Colony Laser? Well, how much does a Colony Laser hurt? Turns out a lot. Okay, but can it block it? Holy crap it does! Okay, next up is the large booster. Press circle and you'll boost towards a locked on enemy, or in a straight direction of your choice, all the while not using any of your boost gauge. However, what sets this apart from the various boosters in the game, is you can press circle again while boosting and you'll detach the boosters, and launch it towards a locked on enemy, and it does a large explosion, which is actually a pretty cool nod to the anime. And finally we have the head vulcans, work great when used in conjunction with melee combat. Its only EX action is the NTD transformation, increases movement speed and you can cancel attacks while boosting. And now we have a brand new burst action, the soft chest touch. Fully resonate with the psycho frame to perform a martial arts attack before injecting warm light emitting from the parts. The attack removes all enemy parts, activates the NTD temporarily, 
Enemies within the vicinity become paralysed temporarily and reduces their defence for a long time. And that's everything on the Full Armour Unicorn. If you found this video useful or informative, drop it a like and subscribe to keep up to date with my latest videos. And until next time guys, catch you later.